Okay, it has the same issues that I have a lot of tracks. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not saying it's bad, by the way. And there were days that you could have released a lot of this music, and this this just go, you know, uh, overwrite another track in the in the in the USB stick. But mm -hmm. those days are over. Sorry. I, I think the mix is actually not bad at all. But no, I think no, it sounds amazing. It's just like, especially like after the first break and everything comes together, it's pretty full. Like, yeah. I would like, I mean, I like to produce that way, like lifting space for each yeah. like sounds. I mean, sometimes you can have a bunch of sounds on one part of the song, but it has to be well mixed to get there. It's just yes. a little bit full. Yes, I think that I like to see the philosophical sides of stuff, you know, and people are using this sidechain bass as a crutch. Crutches? You say crutches, sorry. Huh? Crutches for uh, for this kind of pushing forward music kind of, this is not going to work. Imagine in the club, all the, it's most of the sound that you hear in the club is a bass sound. Yeah, but it works for so some high. crowd, you know, you have like a bunch of other colleagues or artists yeah. that play that kind of stuff in their sets, but I can see that's like a classic um, melodic house. Yeah, I did do it. I didn't I'm like a uh, party. We did this. I always try to remember to remind people. Uh, uh, well, reflection. The thing is like that um, I never was a big... We did this track. This is yours. That's from the label. As you can hear, this was two years ago. That's the vibe. And, and listen to the break. That's exactly the authenticity, the Middle Eastern sound. I always tell myself, I can't go higher than this track, you know? And what it does. Mm -hmm. All the rest is just copies. This is two, and it's not two because it, we released it two years ago, but it's more it, older than that. Have been created, you know. So we need the future. I'm looking for the future, especially with this show. That's all. Simple. So either bring me something, uh, the bomb, the bomb part two. Well. <laughs> this is this is one thing that um, I try to tell younger, the new generation, the upcoming people, that um, don't already release. Yeah. Because, you know, if you want to do something fresh, you know, just do something fresh. <laughs> I mean, you can you can get the influence of a track because we all get influences. It's normal, right? It's a totally normal thing. So, but just yeah, do just different. It to but just keep it to yourself, I think. Unless you've done something that changed this kind of, and I'm looking, and if I take it to a different art form, unless you've added something of yours, a lot of people are copying other people. And like, uh, I don't know if people here and you, you've seen this YouTube series that's called Everything is a Remix. You know, everybody's copying everybody. That's amazing. That's not a bad thing. I copy a lot. Of, I didn't invent anything in this world. Nothing, zero. I utilized good stuff. And I branded stuff, but I didn't invent them. And uh, just do a little bit better, just a touch better, just, you know, or take it to your side. And when you take it to your side, myself as a person that has experience in listening to music, at least, forget about what I, my track record making music, but listening, I know when it's authentic. I know when there is a person inside. I think that's important to take the risk. You know, this is yeah. what I always try to do with my... I mean, if people listen to my music, it's every time a, a new surprise because yeah. I go with the flow. I don't have the same moods every day, you know, so yeah, <laughs> I'm a human, a, I'm, a, a I'm a human, I'm an artist, basically. Yeah. So sometimes you have to take the risk, you know, you can have some influences and some elements of stuff that you are listening right now. But in the end, you have to take the risk and try something different out of it, you know. I don't like to be, I try to be less profane. Profan, use less profanity, but have some fucking balls. Yeah, you know? people and bring just try. Of yourself. Yeah, and bring something extra of yourself, and don't be afraid that you don't sound like the other people. It's about everything in life. You don't have to be. You don't have to fit in. Sorry, I never fit in, 
Anybody ask me if I ever fit in? I never fit in. Same, same. Yeah, I feel I the same. I <laughs> but care. I like that, you know, because sometimes it just it can be by yourself. Like you know, you know what the one thing I like about my career? Uh, I don't have any expectations. Meaning people don't expect something from me. You know what I mean? Because if you think I don't, I don't like naming names, but X that has a steady stream of releases and is doing great music, the next tune that he will do which wouldn't be good it's over for him you know yeah because these people are only as good as their last their last release i don't have it for myself i, I have been seeing a lot of people disappearing after two releases or one they release they don't live up to their own expectations that's what i'm trying to make it's not about the outside it's you know you have a hit and then you need to make something else and then you need to be more and more and more i believe that you need to always go in your flow and always release more music and always do stuff that you're interested in as long as it's authentic and it's you and the moment that you have a sound it doesn't matter what you do you have a sound that's it good or bad that's on you i always they people tell me uh, you have a sound you have a sound and i'm asking them is it a good thing that i have a sound because i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing do you categorize my music as my sound or can i be something else than just my sound you know that's what i ask end of the day now that i'm with this pandemic and everything i feel lucky you know i feel lucky that i've i have i have went my own way even though i had moments that i was trying to fit in but even when i tried to fit in it didn't sound like anything that's that yeah i, I mean to fit into you know i think everybody especially in the beginning you know like um i i i feel the same i'm so happy that i kept doing my thing you know and not always looking left and right and of course you sometimes you look left and right because you are not alone in this world but i was um i took the risk you know and i tried different music sounds features labels and yeah wow i mean so much happened in the last uh, especially the last 10 years since i changed my style style yeah. completely so i i i'm so happy that i did all these things and i haven't done other things that i wanted to do but i didn't so yeah and uh and you know the thing is like um i'm free of a lot of you know some people they are stuck in a group or some people they are stuck in one style or in one thing and i feel like i'm free you know and it's it's a good feeling especially if you make music or art to be free you know yeah uh, what i have to be brutally honest about this stuff also i'm not half as good as producers here in the chat like technically well who is perfect there's no perfection no, I'm, saying I'm not i'm not this is this is why i find myself as being an artist i can tell myself i'm an artist because i'm trying to do what other people do but this is what comes out yeah i'm not as good to repli to replicate other people i i, I people will come and say and no. they draw a straight line and then i need to i can't draw a straight line like them i can't do a full circle you know it's the same kind of thing but mine is my own circle that's, yes that's what i'm trying to to uh, to explain people yeah but this is actually exactly what um i also see the way i see, i take this risk because of like i said you know you get influenced by people music in general you know but just do your style out of it and that's the key it takes time you know some people they're like they, you need the passions you know to like i said like if i listen to some of my production like from five years ago i'm not that happy you know some of the tracks are cool but some of the tracks i'm like mm, i could have done it different even if i like it and i stay behind everything i have done but um i think it's a development and you need to take take the time don't stress yourself don't try to be always the best you know just you know do something but something special it's funny because i'm a i'm a very nostalgic person and uh recently like a couple of days ago i was listening to some old stuff on soundcloud and whatever and i was like i miss this guy you know i miss this sound this naivety and also I'm, i was i was angry at myself that i didn't believe in myself as much because the music is awesome if i would release it today it will be still it's going to be futuristic you know because but then i didn't believe in myself you know to do stuff and to send to people this kind of music and you know always thinking oh what they're going to say what do they think it's always like that i still like if i have like i mean depending of the project but most of the time you i mean 
I'm doing this for a long time now, but this, I still have sometimes like, oh my God, I'm sending this track to this person that I really respect and yeah. I really love. Of course you think like, mm, what are you gonna say? What, what's she gonna say? It's, like, mm. yeah. it's, it's a normal feeling. Like all these people that are sending music to you today, they, yeah. I mean, guys, seriously, it's, it's never, never gonna change. That's the thing, because as soon as you no. lose the respect about this then it's no reason to make anything or to collaborate with people yeah and it's important to surround yourself with a good feedback i see myself as good feedback system you know for this uh, for artists here in the show and i'm and they're coming back you know the people that send music and they keep sending more stuff because they trust me to tell them the reality of things and uh, i know when stuff in my in my mind of course in my opinion my mouth my opinion my brain and um your heart yeah i mean sometimes i always say to people it's an opinion sometimes i don't even believe in it at one point you know it was an opinion it changed it's also a moment you know it's yeah, happened it to me many times that i listened to a track yeah. and then i was like mm, it's not my type of thing and then i went to a club and another friend was playing i was like what the fuck is this yeah it's working and it was the same track that i didn't like it like two days ago and when i'm listening to the studio you know downloading promos yeah. So it's also like for me, it's music is also about timing and feeling and moods and et cetera, et cetera. But of course, I know it's straight away if it's something like feel it here because yeah. I can compare between like art and mixing and, you know, technical and ideas. And sometimes if people send me a track and I feel like, oh my God, it's an amazing idea, but the mix is not so good or maybe yeah. the range. But it's nothing bad about it because I would be. But this you can work on. Yeah, you can work on because it's still authentic, you know. But if you say like, mm, I have listened to this before and it was better than yeah. now. But Let's see if the next one is good. Yeah, please. It's good for us. <laughs> 